Um, I'm just kind of observing myself, okay? But quick story that you reminded me of. Um, second wife and I are good friends. Uh, I won't use the guy's name, but I'll just call him JB. JB was with IBM when um, Apollo Apollo 10 had the explosion coming back from the moon. Um, and NASA was trying to solve the problem of re-entry and there was a problem with the computers and they were trying to fix it themselves and they didn't want to have to go to the vendor in this case IBM to say we can't do it we need the vendor to to do it because they were NASA they didn't want to admit this it was JB that uh, IBM uh, brought in and in 45 minutes he solved the problem um, JB was if not the best, one of the very best programmers, designers, and all that IBM had in, at that time. My my wife uh, of that time and I, uh, he took us on a, a tour of NASA uh, down here in Clear Lake, and we got to see a lot of areas that normally you don't get to get in into and all like this. But we go into one of the buildings that. We knew had a, a lot of computers, and this is when computers took up the whole floors, you know, of, of buildings. This is back in the 70s. And he, big in, entry hall uh, of this building, big lobby, and it takes us where we could look down this hallway. And this hallway had a vertical uh, board slats that came out from the wall, that stuck out stick out like that all the way down the hall and it was a good 100 feet uh, or more to the end of the hall where there set a guard at the table he said I can't take you in here this area but I want you to stand right here and wait well okay he walks down and he goes in the door and you know we're sitting around and the lobby's empty and you know and this door opens up from these slats and this little man walks out that is about four feet tall and has a suit on hat which was common in the 60s and still in the 70s this businessman's hat and he was the ugliest looking little man you ever saw in your life and definitely had an odd color uh, about his, his complexion and all. And he walked with, I could have reached out and touched him. That was how close he walked by, my, my wife and I. And my wife and I looked at each other and said, was that a, a gray alien? Um, that was weird. And Couple of minutes later, Jim comes out the door. I, I, I walk over. He, she, and I both walk over where this door was, and we could not find a crack seam, or a yeah. seam for that door. And Jim come, uh, uh, JB comes out of the the door at the end of the hall. Comes up and first thing he says, "Did you see him?" And we said, "Yeah." Was that? He said, "I don't know," but. There are four of them around here, and they can write circles around me on the programming, and nobody can do that. And Jim really was that good. He said, nobody can do this. <laughs> well, we came out of this door over here, and we can't find the scene. He said, you won't. You won't find it. It's, it's not there now. And you know, and so how long have they been around and involved in all that? I think that's that, crazy, you know. But uh, you know, it's uh, I don't know why it chokes me up talking about it a little bit, but it well, does. it's the crowd, I can feel it too. It's it's a profound story, and it's, yeah, but you know, it's like I said, I don't know, but they can write circles around me, and there's nobody that can do that. And there's four yeah. guys that look and, just and like that, yeah, all dressed the same, look just like that. 
And that, anyway, and they all dress the same, you know. So, anywho, there's a lot of stuff we don't know about, and have, but it's it's out there. 